grade 10 biology chapter number 2 homeostasis we will start from chapter number 2 homeostasis the ability of organism to maintain constant internal condition is called homeostasis first of all homeostasis means balance, equilibrium position. So, uh, we will define the homeostasis like the ability of an organism to maintain constant mean balance internal condition, internal environment is known as homeostasis. Mean any self-regulating process by which biological system maintain its stability is known as homeostasis. Explanation is like that there are two types of environment important for an organism. One is external environment that is surrounding of an organism. Another is internal environment where the cell of organism's body lives. The external environment of an organism continuously changes. In response to these changes, the external, in response to these external changes, the organism makes some changes in its internal environment to adjust itself and manage the external changes. This property of an organism to maintain its internal condition constant is called homeostasis. Mean homeostasis regulates the hormone levels, body temperature, water balance, etc. Maintaining homeostasis requires that the body continuously monitor its internal condition from body temperature to blood pressure to the level of certain nutrients. Each physiological condition has a particular set point. Examples we can give, there are many examples with us from internal, we can take many examples from internal environment, from your stasis, uh, in internal conditions and in internal environment, but here I'll, here I'll explain just two from this, body temperature and regulation of glucose level. First, you know, these mean body temperature, water regulation, excretion, and regulation of glucose level. These are the two important. We can easily understand from these examples that what actually homeostasis is. Body temperature, human body temperature is a good example of homeostasis. When someone is healthy, their body maintains a temperature closer to 98.6 uh, Fahrenheit. When you get sugar in the cold or sweat in the summer, that's your body trying to maintain homeostasis. And another example of homeostasis is the balance of glucose level in the body. The body must maintain a proper glucose level to ensure a person remain healthy. When glucose levels get too high, the pancreas releases a hormone known as insulin. Insulin work is to keep the balance of the glucose level in the normal position. If blood glucose levels drop too low, the liver converts glycogen in the blood to glucose, again raising the level. Conditions of hemostasis. There are three conditions of hemostasis osmoregulation, excretion, and thermoregulation. What is osmoregulation? We will explain uh, these all uh, topics later now. First of all, I will just here define these three terms. Osmoregulation is the balancing of what? Excretion is removal of waste product from the body, and thermoregulation is what? The balancing of temperature. Now, we will move towards the next topic that is osmoregulation in plants. Osmoregulation also we will explain here osmoregulation first in plants that how osmoregulation occur in plants. 
Osmo regulation, uh, I told you that it is what it is the regulation of water, the balancing of water occur inside the body of an organism. On the basis of water requirement, plant can be divided into the following three categories that is hydrophytes, mesophytes, and xerophytes plant. Mesophytes, those plants with moderate water requirements are called as mesophytes. Mean with the medium level of tree plants which require medium level of water is known as mesophyte plants. These plants usually grow under average water supply, limited water supply. They close their stomata and thus prevent transpiration also. Abundant in abundant water supply, they keep their stomata open to transpire the water, rapidly water to transpire to evaporate the water, to remove the water from the body, extra water from the body. Their body appears like stomata are present on the lower surface of their leaves, presence of well developed supporting tissues, presence of root hairs with area of water absorption, with greater area of water absorption. And examples are the citrus plants brassica, pea, mango, etc. Xerophytes, those plants, these are uh, generally the desert plants, are plants which grow in dry, hot and sandy places with limited water supply. M I mean these plants do not require amount of water, large amount of water, medium amount of water, they can uh, grow in a low quantity of water also. Um, these plants have long and branched root system. The stem containing water storing tissues also. The leaves are modified into spines. Bo their body usually contains spines to reduce transpiration. And presence of thick cuticle. Cuticle is thick present. Stomata are sunken and fewer in number and present in lower surface. Examples are cactus, acacia and a lot or punch you. Thank you.